Claire and Stuart Wells from the Wells Group, our financial expert, joins us this morning. We're talking about uh, a lot of goals for 2019, but this right here could offset some financial goals. The market down once again yesterday. In fact, some analysts are saying not only are we heading into a bear market, but we are on pace to have the worst month of December since the Great Depression. Here's Stuart Welch now in the studio joining us. Good to see you this morning, sir. Good morning, Mike. We, we had originally planned just to talk about, you know, goals you can set for yourself that are reachable for next year. But before we get to that, let's talk about the markets. Um, it, 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 are, are, first of all, officially in the bear market now? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you, yeah. So you, the market's down 500 points yesterday. Yeah. Uh, it's been quite a ride when you look at this year. It looks like this year is going to close out basically negative. Yeah. Uh, not not big in the red, but uh, basically negative. This is not new. We see these corrections all the time. Um, what about your approach the last 15 years, your strategy? What, what, should, what can you, kind of wisdom can you provide here? So what's helped me is uh, for the last 15 years, I've been invested primarily in big blue chip dividend paying stocks, particularly companies that have a history of raising their dividends. Okay. So it allows me to take my focus off short term gyrations of the stock market and focus on the cash flow that's coming from those dividend stocks. They're paying, they're rising, they're paying about three, three and a half percent, but they've been rising about 7% a year. And so what that means is, is 10 years ago, since 10 years ago, that income has doubled. And, uh, you know, in, in the last five years, it's gone up, you know, uh, again. So I'm really focusing on higher and higher cash flows. Right. And it just so happens as those cash flows raise, uh, stock prices eventually rise as well. So I've had good returns. So if you're a straight investor, uh, you know, that's information for you. If you got a 401k, maybe time to redistribute to look for some of these blue chips that he that he is talking about. Uh, meanwhile, the economy, we don't know what's going to happen there. The Fed tomorrow is supposed to decide whether or not to raise rates. There's some question whether or not they will do it. And it, it, it lends the fact that people are uneasy about the next uh, economic quarter. So I think uh, the Feds meet today and tomorrow. And uh, my expectation is they'll raise the rates a quarter. Oh, okay. So you'll go from two and a quarter to two and a half. The big question is, what does that mean for 2019? Mm -hmm. So you move into 2019, the economy, I think, is still doing well. Uh, you're, I think the market, you'll see recovery in the market next year. I think it's overblown this year. I think you'll see recovery next year. Okay. Headwinds, things that are uh, uh, adverse would be full employment. It's hard to find employees. Uh, you've got Brexit, uncertainty around Brexit. Mm -hmm. You have trade policy. Uh, that's a, 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 a big question mark. Yeah. But overall, I think that the economy is in good shape and uh, I would be very optimistic. All right, well, let's move on now to some goals you can set for yourself and let's start with financial. Some things you can actually do that will really set yourself up for next year. I don't know if we have time to get through all these, but I have five goals that will <laughs> change your life and it's really just setting goals around financial, physical health, relationships, mental health, and career. Okay. And it's just finding a one, what's that one goal that could move, if you stuck to it, would move the needle significantly forward in the financial area. Mm -hmm. And it might be focusing on debt, paying down debt. Uh, you move into the physical area, what's the one thing that you could do over the next 12 months that would move the needle for you, that'd make a difference? Okay. And again, in relationships, who's that one person or one or two people that you could, if you really focused on, you could end up with a much better relationship, maybe a spouse, right. <laughs> maybe somebody else. Mental health, we're so plugged in, we are so plugged in, uh, and I'm the worst at this, that it's hard to unplug, and we need it to is. figure out how yeah. to, we need to figure out how to unplug. I, I, for me, it's like take a walk around the block and just let it go, yeah. uh, but for some people it might be meditation. And then career, what is one thing you could do? Think five years out, what is one thing you could do this next year mm -hmm. that would move you toward a new level in your career? It might okay. be some education, it might be a new job. Well, I mean, maybe the bosses just heard that. They're saying some things they could do for my career. That's hey, uh, Stuart, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much. I'm just kidding. Yeah. He, he knows not just finances, it's about life. life.